have you witnessed? You lost. Did you find any evidence at Severin Manor? Then we finally have them. All that remains now is chasing them down and bringing them to justice. Good. I'm going to send two of the best Rerun Guard we have to take them down. I want you to assist them any way you can. See that you do. We can't afford to let these traitors slip away. Tell us who is wife to the family patriarch, Vendor. They have a single child, a daughter named Miri. They arrived here ten years ago and have been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. They are quite wealthy and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. People have mentioned it's a bit odd about how close in age Mary appears to be to her father, but that's hardly a cause for alarm. Just make sure you find solid evidence. If I accuse them without it, I'll be the laughing stock of the colony. You might think it's all perfume and roses now that the mine's open, but all I see is a new security problem on our hands. Making sure those shipments of ebony make it safely from the mine to the shipping docks is my new order of the day. And with Solstheim crawling with reavers and Azora knows what else, I can't risk any attacks on Ravenrock. Villa Ulen wasn't the first Ulen to live in Ravenrock. His father, Valen Ulen, was one of the first Dunmer to settle here. Unlike his son, Villa, Valen was a good man. He contributed to the community and was quite respected. When Valen died, his family provided the funds to construct the tomb. The Ulin family being a part of House Lalu didn't matter. It's Dunmer's tradition for the ashes of the deceased to be placed in an ancestral tomb. Valen Ulin and his son's remains were both laid to rest there because that's what he'd requested. Ashfallow Citadel's been abandoned for a long time. Be ready for anything. Any news from Vardenfell, Councillor? I'm hearing that the Council will be staying in Blacklight permanently. Well, of course. Now that they're under House Redoran's protection, why would they want to go back to Mournhold? My thoughts exactly, my friend. 